Hi there, this is a quick tutorial for Blookit, a new game website. First thing you're gonna do, it's free for teachers, you're gonna sign up. I've already done this, so I can't click this button again, but when you sign up, you, I signed up with my Google account. Super easy, took less than 10 seconds. I'm gonna click login though. And it's gonna bring you to a page that's similar to this and you'll get to know this toolbar. The dashboard takes you back to this page, but I'm gonna hit create. All right, so I already know which one I want to do. So you can name it if you're gonna create your own, but I'm actually going to import mine from Quizlet since all of my good stuff is on Quizlet. So it's the same material, just presented in a different way. All right, so I'm going to type this. Vocabulary Workshop Lessons 3. I could put a description. I don't want to or need to. And then this is neat, Image Gallery. I'm just gonna type classroom. And you can choose a picture and it shows up, cute. Okay, so now I'm scrolling down. You can set it to private if you want to or public. I say share with all the teachers. If you wanted to create your own from scratch, you'll type it here and then it asks you to input all of your information. I already have all of my stuff on Quizlet. I'm gonna click this button. Then you still have to go over here and click create your set. So I'm gonna go to my Quizlet with my own words. If you wanted to search someone else's Quizlet, you could just go to Quizlet and search in what you're looking for. Okay, so here is the one that I wanted. I had typed in the vocabulary workshop, so I'm going to click it. Then I'm gonna scroll down and there are three dots. Then I'm gonna scroll down some more and I'm gonna click export. All right, and then you can set up how you want it. If between things you want a comma, um, if you want a new line, semicolon, I like it just as it is. And it shows you down here what it's gonna look like and you hit copy text. Okay, then you're gonna go back to book it and you're gonna click next step. All right. Then I'm going to scroll down. It walks you through these steps. All right. And then I'm going to hit paste and then add questions. And there it is. You can change the time limit. You can take one out. You can copy things in here. Um, I like the random answer order so that kids that are super visual can't memorize the answer based on where it's located or by what color it is and they're all here. All right, so then I'm gonna hit save set. So then it gets added to my dashboard. So if I wanted the kids to play, I would hit host. Now, there are several different games that they can play. I um, learned how to do this from another teacher on Instagram. She suggested Gold Quest, um, and she said that she had had other teachers really like Battle Royale. I've only played Gold Quest and Cafe. The kids requested Cafe. They played it in other classes. Um, they definitely were more engaged with Gold Quest. So I'm going to hit that, then Host Game. So I also like this feature. You can choose how long you want the game to be. So if you have 10 minutes left in class and you wanna just do it for 10 minutes and then it be over and you have a winner, you can change the time. You can do it for five, however, and a timer is at the top of their screen. Love it. All right, or you can end it with whoever reaches the certain amount of gold, they get um, money. So then you hit host now. Okay. So this is what you would display on your screen, especially if you're remote. Um, I like this option because I figured this out after doing it several times. I copied this and then I went and turn off the sound. I don't like the sound. Um, I went and dropped this right in the chat as they were coming into my Zoom and then they were able to log in and it, you can start it without everyone and then they can join in. The fun part about the game is that they only not only have to know the material in gold, in this gold one, um, but they can steal each other's gold so that the winner is constantly changing. So it's part luck, 
and part knowledge. That way kids who know all the answers don't dominate every single time. And they had a blast and we were done and they asked me to do it again. So there you have it. They like it. Hope this helps.